Right now for you in New at 6, a new trend has some local restaurant owners a little concerned. These so-called ghost kitchens are delivery-only operations that run out of existing restaurants. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is joining us live right now to explain more on why not everybody is welcoming these places. Hi there, Sharon. Hello. Well, a handful of new ghost kitchens popped up this week, some of them running out of Bertucci's restaurants. But some people are concerned that these ghost kitchens are going to take business away from local restaurants. A West Coast trend is making its way over to Connecticut. Ghost kitchens operate out of existing spaces and usually do delivery only. Celebrity chef Guy Fury has opened five Flavortown ghost kitchens across Connecticut. Right now, a lot of restaurants uh, with local owners are, are struggling in this environment. It's very hard to work at a reduced capacity seating, um, along with other guidelines. Chris Sayer says celebrity-owned ghost kitchens could be harmful to local restaurants, especially during the pandemic. It's already a hard enough environment, and uh, this just exacerbates the situation. Um, it's kind of like a, a money grab, so to speak. They, they come in for a couple weeks and they leave, but those are dollars that could go to local businesses. Sayer says he doesn't have a problem with locally-owned ghost kitchens, but he thinks celebrity outsiders could be hurting the economy more than helping it. Local chef Tyler Anderson, who operates a number of restaurants, including Mill Rights in Simsbury, posted on Facebook saying, these pop-up ghost kitchen restaurants take business away from local restaurants who need it more than ever right now. Guy Fieri has done a lot for the industry during this pandemic. This one is a cash grab. Support local. You have to create your brand and trust that what you're providing to your customers is, is something that, that is unique. Scott Dolch with the Connecticut Restaurant Association says ghost kitchens are a trend that may come and go, but he believes there are benefits to it. As far as competition, Dolch is watching how consumers react to the new concept and says local restaurants should as well. We'll see how it plays out and what how our current restaurants that are full service, if they go that, that route or where our consumers are. You always have to follow the consumers. And Tyga and Mariah Carey also have ghost kitchens here in Connecticut. Mario Lopez and DJ Polly D are expected to open their own ghost, ghost kitchens across the country this year. Live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. That's an interesting concept, Sharon. Thank you.